Hey everyone, in this video we are going to go over 11 prompts that you can use to automate your prospecting research on an account level as well as a person level. I've spent probably around the last five hours getting these prompts right, making sure we have all of the data together for them, and I'm extremely excited to show all of this data to you. Now before we get into it, uh, this is automating your account research at scale. A lot of these still need a couple tweaks, but otherwise a lot of them are ready to ship inside of emails immediately. And so I'll try to call those things out as we're going through it because I want everyone to get the best information that we can possibly get. So we have this list of websites over here that we are constantly looking for and we use Clay to be able to enrich the company because a lot of the times we're doing the prompting based off of the company description that is from their LinkedIn profile. We have another list of leaders at the company, which I will potentially blur out uh, so that we'd be able to post this in other places and not get it banned. But anyway, this tool is clay.com, which is finding all of this information for us. And then we have integrated OpenAI into the tool to be able to deduct all of the information from here. So we have the website, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the mission of the company. How could we deduct what is the actual mission of the company? So the prompt that we use here is we used the uh, OpenAI prompt here to say, what is the mission of the company using this input? The input is, and then we're using the LinkedIn company description that we found from their LinkedIn company page. Be specific and use keywords in the description not normally found in other companies. Keep the output under six words and make the output conversational slash casual. Complete this prompt. I was on your LinkedIn company page and it looks like you're focused on blank. And then we get into it. And so immediately a couple things that have to get fixed here is I know that sometimes it says I was on your LinkedIn company page and it looks like you're focused on and then it'll have the output and then sometimes it won't have the output. Easy change. I'm not worried about that. But if we look at these companies, Canva on revolutionizing design, nailed it. Calendly, streamlining meeting scheduling, nailed it. Loom, work communication with video, nailed it. Bitwarden, empowering secure collaboration with open source password management, nailed it. Clay.com, improve business analytics automation, nailed it. Notion, create an inclusive workspace, nailed it. Salesforce, connecting companies and customers for good, nailed it. All of them, nailed it. So, uh, and then liquid death, eliminating plastic with hashtag murder your thirst. Okay, great, nailed it. Uh, moving on to the next one. Let's bring our website so that we can keep them all together. Here, what we are trying to do is we are trying to make a inference about who does this company usually sell to? Who are the ideal customer profiles that this company usually sells to? And so our prompt in this situation was, again, taking the LinkedIn company description and saying, what is the job title that has the that this company usually sells to using the input as a guide for what they do? The input is this. Who gets most value out of the product and what is their usual job title? Give up to three job titles. Do not include any numbers or extra information, just a comma separated list of titles. Maybe a little bit of over prompting, but let's take a look at this. Canva, graphic designer, visual designer, creative designer. Nailed it. Calendly, scheduling, coordinating, meeting coordinator, event planner. Nailed it. Loom.com, product manager, excuse me, communication manager, team leader. Nailed it. Notion, project management. Nailed it. Salesforce, sales executive. Nailed it. HubSpot. Customer success, sales representative, again, nailed it. Red Bull, executive entrepreneur marketer. All right, that's funny. Uh, Lime, urban planner, transportation management, sustainability, mo sustainable mobility director. Yeah, nailed it. Okay, I don't know about you, but we're moving on. That was a good one. Okay, so this is a really fun one here as well. In this prompt, what we did is I used a Google search in order to find the pricing page of the companies. It's a really quick the, what we have here is we were just looking at the website and I wanted to see any of the URLs that mentioned pricing and I wanted to put in the dollar sign. And this was in order to find companies at uh, the pricing of the uh, company on the page so that the Google snippet would give us the pricing. And so see how it gives us the pricing right here. And so we can just deduct over here what the pricing is. And so in this case, we kept it very specific. I just wanted I wanted it to tell me the pricing, and then I also wanted to know if it was manual or if it was annual, uh, not manual, if it was monthly or if it was annual pricing. So again, here is our uh, prompt, and then these were some of the answers that we got. So again, Canva, $12.99, nice. Loom, $12.50. Calendly, always free. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Loom, $12.50. Bitwarden, $3.60. Yep. Clay, they got us. Yep. Uh, Notion, a little bit of a miss. I'm going to call that out completely here. Uh, Salesforce, not totally sure. HubSpot, this looks pretty correct. 
uh, Red Bull and Liquid Death, no pricing pages, of course, and you know th those kinds of things. So this is obviously an inference from the, the Google page. So this data is as good as the data that you give it, obviously, but still pretty dang good. So now let's move to our next one. So in our next category, what we were doing is we took a look at the job title of the LinkedIn profiles that we found at the company. And what we were doing is we were trying to find what is the focus of these job titles. And I think there might be a better one in another place. Ah, yes. Nope, never mind. So what we did is we took the, the job title and we basically said, okay, hey, here's the prompt. Tell me what the focus of this person's role based on the title name and input, be specific and casual. The title name is this, the input is this, complete this prompt with the tasks they are responsible for in under six words. As the title, I'd imagine you focus on blank. And so we got leading, organizing and strategizing, directing technical strategy and leading product development creating and leading, developing software. Uh, this was for the CTO. I can get you there. I think I might've accidentally deleted their titles. So I could get that again, uh, more towards the end of the video, but we'll, we'll keep this going on. Anyway, I assure you that this one was pretty much nailing everybody's job focus. Uh, if you put in an accountant there, it was going to talk about, you know, organizing the financials of the business. It, it was very good for what they were focused on. The next one that we're going to look at is we are going to summarize a company's news articles or their announcements based off of their domain. And so we use the predict leads feature over here and we found all of the relevant news articles about the company. And basically we just needed to use the title. Sometimes the main body of the article was too much data for OpenAI to ingest. So we were just using the title of the article instead. So we have all of these events and I just took the first event. And so we'll see Canva launches AI feature, Calendly hires a CMO, Notion launches an AI feature, Bitwarden launches a new product, uh, Loom launched two new features, and let's take a look at the completion. Uh, basically, the prompt that I wanted to use was using the input, complete my prompts using keywords specific to the news article, complement them on their findings of the article, keep it very short and casual, make sure to leave out corporate jargon, Shorten company names when applicable. Don't make any reference to the time of the article being published. The input is the news article. Complete this prompt. I saw the recent news article about, and then it goes into it. So I saw the recent news article about Canva's new AI feature. Great work. About Calendly hiring Jessica as a chief marketing officer. Awesome. I saw the recent news article about your launch. Congrats on the success of new Loom features. Uh, congrats on the Bitwarden's pat pad passwordless.dev beta program. Uh, Notion's AI tool being launched. And these were obviously blank, so this was a little odd. This one, Liquid Death receiving uh, Series C funding. Congrats. Red Bull launching Zane Maloney. Congrats. That's awesome news. What is that? Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, it's the F3 competition there. So anyway, that we have a OpenAI summarization of what happened in the article. Keep going. Now we can also, so here what we're doing is we are inferring what is the possible problem that a company is trying to solve by hiring the person that they're trying to hire, right? And so we have all of these job openings listed by the domains, and I only pulled out one of them. And so you could see we have account executive, CX advocate, accountant, head of go to market operations, all of these things. The prompt that we gave it is essentially, I wanted to be able to say, okay, hey, you're hiring for this position. That usually means that the company is trying to do something. And so the prompt we have is tell me what problem this company is trying to solve based on the open job that is listed in the input. Keep it short and be specific based on what that job title is known to be tasked with in a company. The input is this, which is the job title. Complete this prompt. I saw your company was hiring for a job title. In my experience, this means you're trying to improve the company's what? So let's take a look at some of these. Remember, we got Canva, Calendly, and Loom coming up first. So I saw your company was hiring for a account executive. In my experience, this means you're trying to improve the company's international sales and customer relations by finding someone with knowledge of both German and English. Awesome line. What do we got here? They're hiring for a full stack engineer. 
And this means that you want to improve the company's technology infrastructure and develop more efficient web applications using Python. Awesome. Hiring for a CX advocate. What do you want to do with the company? You want to improve its customer experience. Awesome. Accountant, what do you want to do with the company? Uh, make sure the financial accuracy and record keeping is all in good order. Uh, let's see. Field sales manager, Richmond. You want to improve the company's sales performance in Richmond area. You get the idea. We nailed it on this one. 